Good afternoon. Saturday Solutions with HLC. I'm Christina Rue. And I'm Krista Rue. And we are here to give you some easy peasy tips and tricks for business. Um, 10 minutes every Saturday or at two, barring holiday exclusions. <laughs> And um, so we're here today to talk about three new things. But the first thing we do is kind of talk about what we talked about last time real quickly. You got to introduce yourself. I did. Oh, okay. And you, you said your name too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday, <laughs> hence my hairdo. <laughs> okay. Um, well, for last week, I just want to recap some of the things we went over. Uh, we talked about being creative when it comes to bonuses, mm -hmm. um, employee benefits, uh, because we're in a strange situation with the inflation and such. Correct. So you have to address the issue, but you can't hurt your business doing so. Correct. Yep. And then, of course, that can cause some stress. So we talked a little bit about how during the holiday season, you have stress at work and then also sometimes stress at home with the extra work, the extra money, the extra family that's there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all about giving grace to people who might be a little annoying to you and grace to yourself mm -hmm. and be clear in your expectations. You can't get it all done to right. so be reasonable and learn how to ask for help. Sometimes yes, that's hard. That's we so should do good. a whole session on asking for help. We should. I'm t I'm bad, bad, bad at it. And then things collapse, and Chris is like, why didn't you just ask me? I don't know. I'm bad at it. So <laughs> we'll talk about that some other time. That's not on the list. All right. But that did also sort of bring us to the next thing we talked about last week, which was scheduling. scheduling. Make mm -hmm. sure that you're scheduling yourself and you're giving yourself the transition times between scheduling. Take make because, room for travel, make right. room for kibitzing at the end of an appointment or something like that. And shopping. Because mm -hmm. if you go shopping, sometimes you can't control the people in front of you in line and all their questions. So <sighs> it's always better yeah. to say, hey, that didn't take as long as I thought, than to be like, oh, I'm late now for everything the rest of the day. It's a completely different feeling whenever you're rushing versus getting right <laughs> that's right there's a calmness when i'm getting there on time versus i'm gonna be late oh my goodness exactly exactly so those were the topics we talked about last week correct um this week we want to talk a little bit about the first one is about as owners and managers a lot of times we're pouring into other people our right. knowledge we're helping them do things mm -hmm. but who's pouring into you correct and this is where we definitely encourage everybody i don't care if you're doing it for business or personal reasons or spiritual reasons get poured into so you're better pouring out of so basically take some time for professional development. There's a lot of great things out there. There's online courses that you can do. There's business organizations you can attend. We attended a very good one this week mm -hmm. um, by Chrome Credit Union, uh, put on by the Women's Business Network. It was great about conflict resolution, great points, Customer great service, tips. Right. Absolutely, yeah. So like that was a great thing where we got poured into and we could listen and hear techniques that help us become better people. That's right. So that's, that's right. Professional ed, you have to take time for it. You do. You yeah. really, really do. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and then one of the, the second topic is um, we're starting to get questions again on COVID mm -hmm. restrictions and protocols since it's flu season yep. we, can we tell had the difference. the flu yeah we had the flu two weeks ago and mm -hmm. i had clients who asked if i had covid tested and um which i had because i knew there would be clients asking if i was <laughs> covid tested because again i'm coming into their environment so you definitely want to um make sure you stay up to date with is your area high or low risk that sort of thing and um, what the guidelines are and 
if where you're going adheres to a different policy or not so just keep well, that in mind because sometimes you cross the county line things mm -hmm. are different yeah so i just always carry masks in my purse yeah um, medical buildings they still require right. masks personal care homes still require masks doctor's appointments still require masks right. so i mean there are places that still require masks so and like it's tough whether you believe in masking or not you're in business so you have to respect where you're going Mm -hmm. All right, so one of the resources, you can always go to the CDC website. They have mm -hmm. articles on, if you've been exposed to COVID, what am I to do? Correct. Or in the workplace, there was a COVID exposure, what am I to do? Mm -hmm. So follow those, those um, items and go on with mm -hmm. your business, because business doesn't stop just because sometimes people get Correct. sick. And that was the COVID pivot, which was a phrase I invented way before the media did. If you look at <laughs> our the front page of our website, it was way before the media did. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. um, and then some of the other questions we've been getting is about when is a good time to transition payroll between one processor or another? Mm -hmm. um, and that can be for multiple reasons. It could just be price increases you can't keep up with. Mm -hmm. It could be, you're not really happy with that service, so you wanna look other places. Mm -hmm. um, or it could just be, I'm tired of processing in-house and I just want someone else to do it so I don't have that headache. Yeah, we had talked with the pros and cons of that a couple of times ago. Mm -hmm. But um, you definitely wanna keep in mind from a quarterly perspective, and this is because we do process payroll, <laughs> when quarterlies happen, that's a good, cutoff point to think of in terms of transitioning so and here you have the end of the year coming up so you could transition as of january 1st with the new company and close out the old company let them do your w-2s 1099s all that other stuff because they have all that data and then there's a clean breaking point right. so does that mean you can't change in december absolutely not you just have to be clear that the new company is doing the 1099s and W-2s and not the old company. So communication is very important within that transition. Exactly. But again, because it, I'm a little bit OCD, yeah. end it on a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> it's our preference. It just makes it so much easier to say, okay, this mm -hmm. one had to this point, this one had to that yeah. point. And if you don't have employees and want to add employees, you can do that anytime, yeah, anytime, anytime you can, if you're transitioning to becoming a payroll person. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Or whatever. Okay. So those were the three things we wanted to talk about. Again, mm -hmm. this is common sense things that come up during the week, mm -hmm. whenever we're on site with clients, like what they ask us so that that way we can share what mm -hmm. we tell them. Yep. Um, also, just a reminder, next week there will be no live video because uh, Christmas Eve. not Christmas Eve. Next week is oh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving weekend. I'm ready for Christmas. Yes, and we have I a am. lot of family yeah. stuff, so we will not be here. And then Christmas Eve day, the mm -hmm. December 24th, we will not be Correct. at work either because that's a big yeah. holiday. Here we are setting expectations. Exactly. So there's no surprises. There's no stress. You don't have to log in that day and be like, where are they? Did I miss them? <laughs> and if you miss us that much, look at an old one. Exactly. So it's good to be refreshed. <laughs> Absolutely. And other, there was something else I was going to say about that. Oh, as of January 1st, we're going to be doing these Facebook live events through our company page, HLC bookkeeping and office services. It, Cause we're practicing. Remember this is our mm -hmm. beta test <laughs> of Facebook live to make sure we're doing it right. And people can find us when they need to find us. And we're and having practice. a nice response. So we, thank yeah, you for we that. do thank you for sharing us and letting other people um, hear what we have to offer and please feel free to give us your insight if there's questions you have and would like us to address we'll be glad to do it absolutely because like we said before business is not some great big secret it's just about perseverance 
educating yourself and doing the best you can in a, in a good way. Right. So if you'd like us to address something, you can email us at mm -hmm. office at your mm -hmm. You can call us 724-561-7460. Yep. Joyce is our uh, office manager and she can take a message if we're unavailable. Yep. Um, so we're here. This is to make our business community stronger because remember when our business community is strong, our community is strong. Absolutely. So we have to lay that foundation. Yep. Yep. So we thank you for taking your time on this Saturday, or if you're watching us later on some other day mm -hmm. to watch us and remember to give us your feedback. We love hearing it. And thank you so much for, for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.